Welcome, my name is Conrad Che, and in this set of videos, I'll be presenting how to model and analyze a reinforced concrete column subjected to blast loading using LS Dyna. I'd like to start by giving a brief introduction to LS Dyna before we go into the actual modeling of the RC column. So LS Dyna is a high fidelity general purpose finite element code developed by Livermore Software. Originally designed for highly nonlinear transient dynamic analysis using explicit time step integration procedures, LS Dyna is now applicable in various industries such as the automobile, aerospace, military, and manufacturing industries. The LS Dyna software boasts of a rich and comprehensive library of material models. With material constitutive models that can be used to simulate the different material behaviors listed below. For instances, where the user may need to program a particular constitutive model to simulate a specific material behavior which is difficult to model with any of the inbuilt models, one can define one's own material model. Concrete can be modeled with several material models found in LSINA, which includes but not limited to the Karagosian and Case material model, the Johnson Holmquist model, the Winfred model, and the CSCM material model, which is a continuous surface cap model. The reinforcing steel can also be modeled using the plastic kinematic isotropic model, as well as the piecewise linear plasticine model. You're free to explore the material library to find a suitable model that meets your needs. The finite elements that are found in the LS Dyna package range from solid elements, beam elements, and several other elements developed to make modeling in LS Dyna much more easier. LS Dyna is a single executable file software. It is command line driven. The model input is usually stored in a single file with a .k extension. For simple models, a text editor can be used for the modeling. For much more complex models, however, graphical preprocessors such as LS Prepost and TrueGrid can be used. LS Prepost is a freely distributed software that runs without a license and will be used for the purposes of this tutorial. So essentially, in this tutorial, we're going to study the effects of blast loading on reinforced concrete columns. And we'll be doing this by modeling the concrete column and the reinforcement, and then ensuring perfect bonding between the reinforcement and the concrete. We'll fix the appropriate boundary conditions and simulate the simultaneous effects of blast and axial loading on these columns. 